Welcome to the ABC of the Animal Kingdom, Dog Special. Frankie is the one featuring today's video. Pics and videos are brought thanks to Frankie underscore Dogo Argentino. Yeah. These Just tell me that I can show you things that you couldn't The Dogo Argentino originated in the province of Córdoba, in the central region of the Republic of Argentina. Its creator was Dr. Antonio Noors Martinez. In 1928, his passion for dogs led him to set the basis and a standard for a new dog breed, which he named Dogo Argentino. Martinez set out to breed a big game hunting dog, capable of being a loyal pet and guard dog. He picked the nowadays extinct Córdoba fighting dog to be the base for the breed. Martinez crossed it with the Great Dane, Boxer, Spanish Mastiff, Old English Bulldog, Bull Terrier, Pyrenean Mastiff, English Pointer, Irish Wolfhound, and Dogue de Bordeaux. Its strength, tenacity, sharp sense of smell, and bravery make it the best dog, among those used for hunting wild boars, peccaries, pumas, and other predators that can be found in the vast and heterogeneous areas of the Argentine territory. Areas where cattle ranchers had challenges with some of these animals attacking their herds. In 1964, the breed was recognized by the FCA, which opened the stud books to initiate registration. In 1973, the breed was accepted by FCI as the first and only Argentine breed. They did not make it to the U.S. until the 1970s when Dr. Raul Zeballos introduced the first six specimens of Argentine Dogo to the United States. In 2020, the American Kennel Club recognized the Dogo Argentino, making it the organization's 195th breed. It is a large, powerful, and athletic dog breed. Its strong head is supported by a thick, but elegant neck that connects to a balanced body, which is sustained by straight, substantial forelegs and very muscular, medium-angulated hindquarters. The Dogo gives the impression of explosive power and energy. It must have a good nose, great lung capacity, and a powerful, yet agile, muscular build. Its expression is alert and intelligent, with a marked hardness. The Dogo is instantly identifiable by its short, completely white coat. The Dogo Argentino's head gives its unique stamp. Its eyes are medium-sized, almond-shaped, dark or hazelnut in color, protected by thick eyelids. The nose is black and has large nostrils. The muzzle is strong, a bit longer than deep, well-developed in width, with the sides slightly converging. The jawbones are well-developed, strong, and fit together correctly, not over or undershot. The power of the Dogo's bite comes from the angulation on the bottom jaw. Scissor bite is preferred. Its body is slightly off square. The length of the body may exceed the height at the withers by 10%. Dogo Argentinos are large dogs that grow to a standard height of about 24 to 27 inches at the shoulder. Males tend to be slightly taller than females by about an inch on average. The breed usually weighs between 80 and 100 pounds. They have a life expectancy between 9 and 15 years. Required level of physical activity is medium to high. When it comes to caring, there are three main topics, diet and exercise, coat and skin, and nails. Many want their dog to grow big and be muscular, so they feed them too much or with an overdose of protein. This will only have a highly negative impact on their joints and may also manifest as red eyes. Reason why, it is a must to periodically control their weight and maintain a recommended protein content between 21 to 24%. The most important nutritional supplements are chondroprotectors. These are used in the treatment and prevention of joint diseases in both humans and dogs. In the best case, Dogo Argentino needs two daily walks, being mandatory at least six walks weekly. It is advisable to feed the dog after a long walk thus, all the protein from feeding will go into building muscles. Another mistake arises when trying to make them look super white for which people bathe them too much. Dogs have a protective fat layer under the coat, which protects them from external infections and directly helps the immune system, prevents excess UV radiation, and maintains the correct body temperature. Dog skin has a pH of about 7.4. Shampoo for humans or those not specially designed will end up modifying skin pH, thus reducing immunity. It would be better to wash your dog simply with water, since its pH is almost equal to the dog's pH, and cannot wash off its protective layer. The basis of a pure white coat is not frequent bathing but proper nutrition.
Trimming their nails monthly is particularly important because of two main reasons. One, if nails are not trimmed, it would put extra stress on its joints when running and may become a reason for required dysplasia in the future. Two, there is a risk of the paw's soft tissue getting injured during fast running on rough surfaces, such as pebbles, uneven asphalt, and so on. The Dogo is an intelligent and courageous dog with a strong instinct to protect its home and family. Dogos are social dogs and are happiest when included in all family activities. Despite its capability for aggression when it comes to hunting, the Dogo Argentino generally has a happy disposition, and it is fiercely loyal to its human family. Dogos are protective of their people, early socialization and training are extremely important. To be sure, this is not the dog for an inexperienced owner or one who is unable or unwilling to take charge. However, the training process is much easier with female Dogos. They are physically strong and strong-willed, so they need a firm trainer who keeps them in line without resorting to force or physical punishment. You should never go to animal abuse. With the correct training in a good, loving home, the Dogo Argentino can make a courageous and dedicated family companion, as well as an excellent watchdog. When training your puppy, try to combine it with playing moments. Thanks to this contrast, your puppy will engage better and absorb the information faster. During lessons, involving your children will establish a closer connection between them, and your dog will become an excellent protector of your child. Intense mental stimulation is needed to make them happy and engaged. Focused physical activity also brings out the best in dogos. Their tenacity, intelligence, strength, nose, and power make the breed well-suited to many fields. They do great at search and rescue, military and police work, and even as service dogs. Without training in a good, loving home, it can be a real danger for its owner, and both other dogs and humans in general. It is for the above as well as for its size, strength and characteristics, that dogs such as the Dogo Argentino, Tosa Inu, Pitbulls, among others, are listed as potentially dangerous dogs in several countries. However, this does not mean, under any circumstances, that they are aggressive and prone to attack. The Dogo Argentino is a very healthy dog breed, predisposed to a few health problems. One of the major issues is deafness, and they may also suffer from dysplasia, which is common among large breeds. As in the Dalmatian, White Boxer, and White Bull Terrier, the Dogo may experience pigment-related deafness. There is the possibility of an approximate 10% deafness rate overall, with some Dogos afflicted uniorally, one deaf ear, and some minorally, deaf in both ears. Studies have shown that the incidence of deafness is drastically reduced when the only breeding stock used is bilaterally normal hearing. Some may say that the pronounced pigment of Dogo Argentino is a guarantee that a dog fully hears. However, it is not true. These puppies may also have hearing problems. Only bear test, which is done at the age of 45 days, can guarantee that a dog hears. How to avoid the acquisition of dysplasia? It is necessary to limit physical activities in puppies under one year and a half. It is highly recommended to train your puppy to obedience and commands at an early age rather than physical training. Any jump is a big load on the dog's spine and pelvis. If you regularly allow your puppy to jump on its hind legs, then its hip joints will gradually collapse. Not overfeeding your dog. Excessive weight creates an additional load on the joints. If you love dogs and cats as much as we do, stay tuned on Sundays. We will also post new videos about wild animals and insects every Thursday.
Do not forget to subscribe and activate the notification bell, so you do not miss any of our incredible videos.